Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the BenQ EW3280U entertainment monitor that was sent to me like a couple months ago so I can try it and share a video with you guys. And of course, there's going to be links for this monitor in my descriptions just in case you're interested in it. And what's cool about this device or this monitor is that it is a 32 inch. 4K 16 by 9 IPS display with HDR. Now I'm coming from a 27 inch Dell ultra thin monitor. Uh, you see my videos before I did an unboxing of that. And you know, it's a huge difference coming from a 27 inch to a 32 inch. It's a huge, huge difference. And of course the box that this comes in is humongous as well. Like you see here, I am showing you guys what's in the box. I did the unboxing, I recorded a little bit so you guys can have an idea what's in the box. Of course, when you take the monitor out of the box, which is heavy, I did it by myself, but man, I recommend you have a little bit of help because this monitor is pretty damn heavy, okay? And in the inside, of course, you're gonna have the cables necessary. You're gonna have the stand, which is separate from the monitor, uh, but it's very easy to attach it and that's it that's all you get and what's cool about it as well is that this monitor in the back you can actually hide the cables uh, via the stand because the stand has a cover in the back right now on the monitor i have connected two hdmi cables of course and i also have a usb-c cable connected to the usb-c port because this monitor actually has two hdmi 2.0 of course compatible with 4k one display port, one USB-C video cable port, uh, which will also deliver power. So if you connect to this monitor a laptop, uh, like for example, a MacBook Pro or something like that, this monitor will actually receive the video from the laptop and keep your laptop charged as well because it actually delivers 60 watts uh, power delivery. Another thing that this monitor has is free sync. So if you play games and all that, you know, this monitor is going to be convenient for that. Uh, but uh, one negative thing I would have to say about this monitor is that it only tops at 60 hertz. Now, keep in mind, this is supposed to be a entertainment monitor. It's not supposed to be a gaming monitor only. So when they say entertainment monitor, that, that means that you can actually play video games. You can watch movies in this monitor. You can actually edit videos or use it for, you know, editing um, photos or videos or making um, you know programs for engineering and all that that's what this monitor is for it's for everything so um, what, but when it comes to response time is actually very really low because it only has a five millisecond response time which is great enough for video gaming of course the consoles that i've been using on this monitor is the playstation 4 pro and the Nintendo Switch, which actually doesn't require that much power because it, it tops at 1080p. But the PlayStation 4 Pro actually does 4K and it looks incredible playing on this monitor. And I played a whole bunch of different type of games. And like you see on the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay uh, and video movies that I've seen in this uh, monitor. And it looks just gorgeous. The colors really pop, really nice. Now the brightness of this monitor actually variates. So if the HDR is off, it goes to a 350. If the HDR is on, it goes to 400. So that's not bad. One awesome thing about this monitor is the amazing, awesome speakers that it has in the back. Uh, it has two watts uh, speakers in the front, two watts, one on each side. It has a rear woofer, five watts okay five watts in the real woofer and it just sounds incredible so i'm going to try to show you guys how cool it sounds right now It also has a Visa wall mount, 
which is the 100 by 100 millimeter. So if you don't like the stand or if you want to put one of those visa mounts attachment to your desk, you can actually do that as well, which is something that I think I'm going to be doing so I can save a little bit more space on my desk. Uh, it also comes with uh, brightness intelligence, which is part of the eye care technology that this monitor has. Uh, it has the brightness intelligence, which you see right there in the front, it has a sensor. And depending on the light and all that, it actually change, it looks at your eyes and, it's, and it adjusts the monitor very, very nicely and smooth. Uh, you don't really notice it that much. It's not that distracting. So that's why in a way it's good to leave it on. But if you're like editing videos and all that, you might want it to keep it off. Um, another thing, low blue light has very cool low blue light e-paper mode it has a whole bunch of modes you can actually um, change from also uh, what's cool about it is that it has a remote control one thing that i never seen on monitors before especially monitors for a computer it comes with a very cool remote control which from the remote control you will be able to change the hdr you will be able to manage your settings you will be able to change the audio settings and of course you can actually change the volume as well but one cool thing also about this monitor is that at the corner at the left corner bottom corner of the monitor it actually has a wheel for the volume so that's something cool that it has right there that uh, most of the times on other monitors you actually have like buttons but this one has like a scroll wheel which is really cool it goes all the way up to 50 and not bad it's very conveniently there so for me it feels very natural when you're up and lowering down the volume in the back it has two buttons for customization you could actually customize the two rear button for anything that you want for hdr or for hdmi inputs for whatever you want it also has uh the on and off button is on the back as well and it has the little thumbstick which is basically for controlling the settings of your monitor which i'm going to show you guys right now the settings of the monitor Okay, so let's go ahead and show you guys what's in the menus. And um, for this, I'm going to actually be using the control. So that way I don't have to be reaching for the TV. And uh, of course, let's go and show you guys, first of all, the menu here. When we click here, open it up, the main menu. The first thing you're going to see is inputs. You got HDMI 2, HDMI 1, USB-C, and digital display port, which is not selected because I have nothing connected there. You got picture, you got brightness, contrast, sharpness, advanced, and advanced you can control display mode, over scan, dynamic contrast, super resolution, smart focus, and color, you have color mode. So you have a whole bunch of color modes available there. You got HDR mode, you got these available there, which you can also access it from the control as well. And you got advanced. Um, audio, you got scenarios, which you can access it from the button. There's a button dedicated for that here as well, but you got it right here as well. You got volume, you got mute, eye care, you got brightness. Right now it's off because I don't want it to tr be switching on and off. And you got adjust duration, eye reminder, low blue light, low blue light. You got multimedia, web surfing office reading e-paper you see it changing at the at the same time uh color weakness uh you got custom keys so these you can actually use to actually customize the buttons on the back so button one i have it using inputs uh button two i'm using color mode for that so if i want to change button two for hdr mode i could do that and if I want key one to be instead of input, show me audio scenario, I could do that as well very easily. You got system, OSD, you got languages available for the monitor. You got all these available there, whole bunch of languages available. You got display time, OSD lock. You got this input auto switch auto power off so right now i have it at 30 minutes but you could go and switch it you could go ahead and turn it off led indicator that's the little light in the button over there 
uh, resolution notice on or off I leave it on that way it will actually let me know when it's doing HDR when it's doing 1080p when it's doing 4k the monitor will actually let you know so you got information here inputs right now 1080p HDR right now is off model of the monitor and all that and that's it you got reset all and that's it that's all you get here in this menu which like you see there there's a lot of things to actually be messing around here and the cool thing is that you actually have the controller where you could do everything from here as well like i said there's a dedicated button for the audio audio there like you see there and there's a dedicated button for the hdr like you see there and of course, like I said, this monitor is really good for gaming. That's how I've been using this monitor a lot for gaming and video editing on my computer. And I have no complaints whatsoever. The only complaint that I have is that it, it is huge. This monitor is, it is, is huge for my desk. I think I need a bigger desk because I was actually, my eyes were actually used to the 27 inch monitor. And I think that for this desk that I have, I think 27 inches is like perfect. 32 inches it feels like very very huge but the great thing is that if you're planning on playing video games as well and watching movies you're always going to want to watch it on a bigger screen so yeah um it is what it is but it were it is really good the colors and hdr on when the hdr is off for me in my opinion it looks pretty damn nice um it's also really expensive this monitor goes for around 799 dollars on amazon and on their website as well but of course you know you got to just pay attention to the monitor because sometimes you know how it is on amazon they could drop price anytime especially on holidays and summer and all that so i'm obviously of course i'm gonna leave links in my descriptions for this monitor but you know this is the monitor that i've been using for the last over two months already i've been using this for over two months already and like i said I really like it. The 4K resolution is great on the screen, especially if you have hardware that can actually push those pixels. Um, and the response time when it comes to video gaming is really good. Colors when you're watching movie, really nice and bright, really clear. And of course, like I said, it also has HDR and it has a couple types of HDR, HDR for gaming, HDR for movies. Uh, but you know, it is really cool. I really like the monitor. So. Uh, one thing, of course, like I said, I'm going to leave links in my descriptions. If you have any questions about this monitor, go ahead and ask them. And like I said, I really like the fact that it sounds incredible. That's one thing for sure that I, you barely ever see on monitors these days. Uh, sounds incredible. And it, I like the fact that it actually comes with a remote control where you can actually change, you know, from far away. You could change your volume. You could change your volume settings, mode the hdr the brightness you can change all that you can turn it on and off as well the monitor is really cool so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about this monitor and like i said i'll be leaving links in my description till next time guys bye bye